Hi guys, I'm David and this is Jeanette. Together we are Low Range 4x4 Adventures. For the last few years we have been doing some epic trips to amazing locations across Australia. Subscribe and like our videos and hit the notification bell to join us on our adventures. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Good morning, everyone. Hey, guys. It's, so it's Sunday, the 22nd of May, and it's actually nearly lunchtime. So it took us a little bit to get going this morning. We spent the last couple of days exploring Port Arthur. So we had a little bit of a lie-in, watched a few episodes of Ozark. It's not a bad show for those who like their cartel yeah, stories. Uh, so we decided today to do the... Cape Rao track. Yeah. So we are, are about a bit over 15, 20 minutes in. We've come to the Cape Rao. Rao. <laughs> I'm not sure how to Couldn't say it. <laughs> Look out. So I'll just give you guys a gander at that because it is stunning up here. It goes round and round and round and round again. Cape Rowell is actually over on the end of that flat rock that you can see over there. So that's where we're walking to. As you can see, it's a long way down. It's going to even be a longer way back up again. The track itself to the Cape is about 15 kilometres long and they say to allow four hours. So I think we started about 20 past 11, but I'm pretty slow today. <laughs> so it might take us a bit longer. We're nearly at the end of the Cape Rail track. Uh, we've come to a fork in the road. So it's five minutes to the Cape Lookout and five minutes to the Seal Lookout. So thinking Cape first and then Seals. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. The coastline down here is absolutely stunning. So I think we've walked nearly eight kilometers in, so it'll be about a 16K round trip but it's been yeah just amazing this is the point of cape brow you can just see the amazing coastline so uh just beautiful the dolomite columns absolutely incredible so pretty so far down. <laughs> Guys, around this side of Cape Rowell is where you can see the seals. You, we can't pick it up on this camera, but we bought the P1000 and we hope we've got a bit of footage. It might be a little bit blurry when it's really zoomed in, but we can hear the seals from up here. That's so cool. yeah, obviously someone's trying to pinch somebody else's spot because it sounds like a bit of a commotion down there, but very cool absolutely stunning bit of coastline 
We're also fortunate enough and we're walking out here to see a whale which Dave got a pick up, picky of so we'll pop that one up on Insta at some stage or it's probably already been on Insta by the time this video comes out but it's just wow down here is all I can say is wow. <laughs> Cape Rao is pretty wow. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Morning. So it's our ninth day exploring the Tasman Peninsula. Yesterday we went for a bit of a drive through uh, just around. We didn't do any filming. We just went out to Roaring Beach and yeah, had a little drive in the country, not mm. much else. Uh, today we're going to go through the Tasmanian Devil, Unzu. I'm not really sure what it's about, but I think it's a bit of a research centre where they look into cancer and things like that that obviously affects the Tasmanian Devils. So tomorrow we will be yeah, heading into Hobart and sort of north from there. So this is our last day. We've absolutely loved exploring mm. this area. It's so much to do. Yep. But let's go and check out the little devils. Let's go. <laughs> the Unzu is a place where you can learn about wild animals, plants and ecosystems through interaction and immersion in our bushland habitat. So there's actually no boundary. Um, they just, uh, I guess the animals are just encouraged to come here and um, they're free to go if they want to. There's um, quite a few presentations throughout the day, starting from 10 a.m. right through to 5 p.m. So Tasmanian devil, uh, wallaby and kangaroo feeding, birds of the bush, rosella feeding. So quite a um, selection of different things to do. Um, I think the entry fee is about forty-five dollars each for David and I. So, and they suggest you um, spend one to two hours here. Tasmanian devils are only found in Tasmania. They are a meat-eating marsupial and carry their young in a pouch like a kangaroo. They're scavengers, they mostly eat dead animals. It is a research centre here as well. The species has become endangered due to a strange new fatal facial tumour disease that has killed 80 to 90% of all devils. It is passed from devil to devil through biting, which is common devil behaviour during, during mating and feeding. The devils at the Unzu and here on the Tasman Peninsula are disease free. <laughs> Where we're walking through now, guys, is where the part of the original orchard that was here. So, uh, John and Caroline Hamilton bought the property over 35 years ago and started changing it from converting it from the orchard to what you see today so, can we stand up yeah. so this must be <laughs> you crawl through here it's not very clear we're in the old part of the zoo so you must have used to be able to crawl through here and poke your little head up. <laughs> it's rather cozy. And um, yeah, see, the day the devils could come and look at you. Um, but yeah, what they are is they're scavengers. So they don't eat things out already. It's so much easier for them. Pretty much those sources are best of food sources. Them to fight it out and figure it out. Oh dear. Oh, Skin, fur, bone, they don't waste any of it. They're pretty cute, these guys. Yeah. Actually, it's a bit of an unzu at the caravan park, too. Are you good? Sorry. No, no, not at all. Grab some food. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, feel free to head over to the other ones. They look pretty chilled now. Must. See yeah, the joeys? It's still in the sun. It's a good place in the summer. Thanks, guys, for watching another one of our adventures. We really appreciate it. Quite a few of you guys uh, that are watching aren't subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button ding the notification bell and throw us a thumbs up we really appreciate it, it helps the channel out heaps
so guys between this video at the Tasman Peninsula and the one you will see next week we have actually spent three months working up at Ben Lomond for the ski lift company over winter so that was an amazing experience living and working in the snow something we have never done before uh. we had a great time and learnt a lot. We um, have got some money back in the coffers and our next adventures are going to be down the east coast of Tassie. So super excited to do those, do the east coast and the Bay of Fires and there's so much, so much more to see. All right guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hey, hello gorgeous, what are you doing on the bin? There's nothing in there for you, hello, hello, stop the camera, no you can't eat the camera, oh. you just bit the camera, oh. what? bit the camera, he thought it was food, obviously people hand feed him, come on, off you go, shoo, come on, off you go, out. <laughs> There's nothing in the bin, is there? So our little friends are back. As you can see, they're very quiet. Come on, out. Oh, <laughs> come on. How'd you go? That's naughty. You know it's naughty. Don't chew my toe. <laughs> come on. So I've been into the bin. They've. Very, very cute, but very, very naughty.